guys, and welcome to Alarming Confessions. I'm here with my guest, Michaela Liggins. And today we're going to go in depth on two topics about abortion and homelessness. We got several people to answer our questions on it, and these were their responses. Our first question about abortion is, share something from your life experience that informs your response or position on abortion. We got a response from two people on what they think, and our first response we got was from Katie. She said, I personally never had to talk about a person who was actually getting an abortion, but I've thought about people who didn't get abortions and still had a kid. When I was just entering middle school, I don't remember if the girl was a freshman or an 8th grader, but I do remember that she had gotten pregnant and didn't hide it. Eventually, she had the baby and I thought, gosh, at this age, you're having sex and having a child? I would never want to be like that because she got talked about, but soon realized that abortion is a hard thing, especially at a young age. Childbirth is so scary, I couldn't imagine what she was going through. I can agree with Katie. Everybody has their different opinions on what they feel about abortion and what they would think they would do in her position. I personally would have got rid, rid of it because I couldn't handle how I would feel later. Same. I would have had to get rid of it too. We're too young. We got another response to that question from Mark and he said, I once had a friend who was with a guy and she ended up getting pregnant. However, over time, things just weren't working out so they broke up and she decided to get an abortion. This guy wasn't ready to step up and take care of the child with them not being together, so I personally feel like she made the right decision. Besides, in my opinion, we're too young to be having kids and our lives are barely getting started. Outside of the relationship, her support system was not good, so I feel like that would have had a tremendous impact with her having to be a single parent. I also am a strong believer in bringing a child into a two-parent household because this will allow the child to sense a different kind of love so they won't start looking for it outside of home. They'll also be aware of what it's like to be raised with both parents in their lives. Having no dad, it's really sad because my boyfriend has a dad and I'm not jealous of him, but it's things like, damn, like I wish my dad was here. Shoot, because they just look so happy. Because, you know, a single mom, she's not really, well, depending on how she raised the child, it depends if she could raise them right or wrong. Because, like, there's no father figure there to make the child feel, not special, but, like, loved. Because, you know, how they'll feel about their dad being one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our next question, why can it be so difficult to talk about abortion? We got two responses from Daisy and Will. Daisy said, I think it can really be difficult to talk about it. If a person who can't bear a child hears it. If it's not something a part of someone's religion or someone is raped or forced to get one, there's many reasons on why they can't get talked about. And some people think, well, it's just a question. Abortion is nothing. Although, if it's nothing to you, it can always be something to them. Imagine you in, imagine you in their shoes. To which Will agreed and added, I absolutely agree. I also think some people just don't want to hear the judgment behind the abortion. But people should be more open to other reasons for it. Same. I absolutely agree. The most common question asked is, what is the heart of the debate? Me and Miracle are going to answer this question and share and give our thoughts and opinions about it. I think the big deal about abortion is that once you get one, people think like you're really like crazy, like it's the devil's work <sighs> because you're just killing the next generations of humans. But they don't really, really realize the struggle behind it and like the trauma that a person could get because having like a baby at a young age like can make you miss a lot of life and then later on you think like damn like I wish I like was still a teenager or kid but it's not really like that also it's not really their decision sometimes it couldn't be the parents but if I had a baby which I'm not I'm killing it I would get the abortion whether my mom wants me to or not yeah I wouldn't really care about other people's opinion if I know that I'm not going to be able to take care of my child so yeah i would get the abortion as well but like miracle said a lot of people who can't have a child may be sensitive to this situation especially due to the fact that they actually want a child and keep trying to bring a baby to this world and